Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Develop with Git and Eclipse using the Eclipse eGit plugin. In the last episode I explained to you how you can create a local Git repository from a project you're creating inside Eclipse. In this episode I'm going to explain how you can push this local repository to a remote repository server in order to have a backup and as a precondition to work on that project with other developers. I'm going to explain this on the example of a GitHub remote repository. What do we have to do first? We have to actually create the repository in GitHub. I'm already logged in here with my Let's Developer account and I'm going to create a new repository for a purpose. I'm going to name this repository Let's Develop with Git. One remark here you want to make sure that initialize this repository with a readme file is unchecked because you already have a local repository created which you want to push to GitHub and um, this is not going to work if your repository in GitHub already contains some files. You want to actually create an empty repository. Okay. This is what I did right now. You can see this because there's no content displayed. The repository is actually empty. You can safely ignore all the command line details down here because we're going to do all the steps from within Eclipse. The only thing we need is to copy the SSH URL of your repository in order to tell Eclipse where to connect to. And then we can already go back to our Eclipse and proceed to the next step, which is to tell Eclipse that the repository we created is actually related to the remote repository we just created on GitHub. How do we do that? We go to Window, Show View, Other, and then search for the GitHub repositories view below the Git node, which is this one here. I'm going to open it, and now we see down here the Git repositories that are uh, somehow related to our workspace. For our scenario here, we're concerned with the repo repository, which is the same uh, we created in the last episode. Below the repo node, we have the remotes node, which is where we want to add our remote repository. So I say right click, create remote repository. I'm going to name this uh, repository origin because uh, in the Git world, the origin repository is somehow the, the root repository of our project, normally the one on the server. So from the origin repository, I'm checking out my uh, project to work on and I'm pushing the changes I made back to the origin repository. In the next view, I just have to change the URL. I just click here and as you can see, eGit already pasted for me the URL from my clipboard. I only have to select that I want to use SSH and actually because I'm using multiple SSH keys I have to change the uh, the host information here. You probably don't have to do that if you're using just one GitHub account. Okay, that's it already and I'm going to uh, click on finish and I'm going to save and push. As you can see, he's working now. Um, you might have to add to provide some credential information at this point. Um, I already have that set up, but uh, Egit will ask you for this information, so there's no problem um, for you. And after he worked for a while, he's going to tell you that he pushed the repo to origin, which is exactly what we wanted. Now you can see here that he created the origin remote with exactly the URL we gave him. And with this step we're actually finished. If we return to GitHub and just refresh our repository page we can see that he pushed uh, the complex project with all its contents to our newly created Let's Develop with Git repository. And as you can see it has all the contents I uh, created in the last episode. Okay. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. If you liked this episode, please consider to subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitter. I post regular updates on what I do. If you have any feedback, critics or ideas what I could do, 
please feel free to drop me a comment or send me a message. I'm always happy to receive your feedback and I'm sure I can improve on providing the contents you want to have. You might also want to have a look at uh, other series I'm doing like the Let's Develop with Maven in Eclipse or the Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.